straight up to the ceiling. And I want these at what we call 90-90, okay? Perfect, so we got 90 here at the hip and 90 here at the knee, okay? What he's gonna do for me is bring the med ball right here and here is the very important piece, okay? And this is where that whole back extension thing comes in. To tie in the core, we have to make sure that we're locked down here. So I always say deep breath in, when you breathe out, fix those ribs down, yep. And now I want you to brace right here like someone's about to punch you right here, okay? Maintain that pressure all the way around here. So give me a deep breath down here. There you go, good. All right, so now I'm gonna take this ball just back a little bit, and you'll notice that the weight will start to come into play. Yeah, perfect. So right about here is the exact spot. A good example of where you can kind of play around with the range here, okay? Keeping this all locked in, what he's going to do for me is hold the med ball. It can be a kettlebell or a weight or anything like that. And I'm going to ask him to keep the 90 degrees, but go ahead and start to tap with the heel. Okay? And you can do all on one leg. You can go simultaneously. It's whatever he chooses to do, but I want there to be nice, slow contraction throughout the movement, okay? We're challenging the core here, okay? We call this an anti-extension movement because the body wants to go in extension, but we aren't letting it happen, okay? So we'll go about 10, 15 reps on each leg. And then what I'm gonna do, bring the ball back up. Yep. Yeah. All right, so from here, what I'm gonna do, keep the knees at 90 degrees, and now he's gonna go from the top. We did the bottom perspective, now we got the top. He's gonna take the ball back, keeping that contracted, and tap the ball. And you may not feel comfortable going all the way back, and that's fine. Again, find the range that's comfortable for you, okay? Again, 10 to 15 is perfectly fine here, okay? All right, so next and the last one of the series, what I'm going to have him do is I'm going to have him crunch the ball in between his elbow and his knee, okay? So this is more for a rotational stability uh, component with the runner, okay? You guys are always constantly turning your body as you're running forward, okay? So what he's gonna do next is he's gonna have this hand go up to the ceiling, yep. He's gonna maintain hard pressure here between his elbow and his knee, okay, with the ball. As he's breathing in, I want him to reach with this hand going back and tap with that leg going forward. Yep, bring it back. And again. It's hard to yep. So this is what we call an anti-rotation type exercise. So again, it's making you want to kind of roll to one side or do some wonky stuff. Don't let that happen. Keep it locked in. Okay. Again, 10, 15 reps and you're done. Move on to the next set.